Well, this is going to be a little bit of a different video for me. This is the uh, Walnut Grove Trailhead on the Frisco Highline Trail. And this was my first trip up on my new Cat Trike Villager. And I thought I'd do a little bit of a review on this because when I was looking to buy it, there wasn't anything online as far as video reviews of the Cat Trike. So, this is it. This is the new Cat Trike Villager from Sunshine Bike in Springfield. Uh, it weighs about 34 pounds and I got the nice lime green color comes with the uh, factory rear fender also comes with the factory mirror um, I added the light the front headlight and the rear tail light also comes from the factory with the flag which is nice it's got a uh, nice upright riding position and that rear seat is adjustable it's uh, an entry an entry level recumbent trike um, nice upright riding position, real easy to get used to. It's, I would call it a starter trike. Um, yeah, uh, rode it from Springfield up to the uh, Walnut Grove Trailhead. Uh, the maps say it's 16 miles. My uh, odometer on my bike said it was uh, just a little over uh, 15, 15.2, 15 but somewhere in there. And I'm getting ready to uh, hop on and go for the trip home. I found the bike really easy to get used to. The steering is really no different than a, a zero turn mower. Um, the handling actually at low speeds is very stable. This was my first trip on it on gravel. Most of the uh, trails and roads that I'm on are paved. I would rate it as marginal on gravel. As long as everything's flat and there's room, it's, it's not an issue, but with the uh, tires, the width that they are, um, it's really more suited for being a pavement bike. It, it did just fine on the gravel, but it could have used a little more cushion. I may end up putting uh, slightly bigger tires on it to uh, increase the uh, performance off-road. Again, that's probably going to cost me a little bit of speed while on the asphalt. On the topic of speed, I had heard that the trikes in general were slower than a two-wheeled bike. I have concluded that that is probably not true. The Villager in general has 20 inch wheels all the way around and it is not a speed demon for certain. I find myself traveling just marginally slower than I would if I was on a two wheel bike. Um, a top speed and top gear under my normal cadence I'm, I'm running about 15 to 18 miles per hour. Uh, I also heard that hill climbing was extremely poor on a recumbent. I find that not to be the case at all. It's nice to not have to worry about um, falling over at low speeds because you're on a, on a trike. It's nice just to be able to put it in low gear and crawl up about any hill you can imagine. In the lowest gear, my normal cadence, it runs about two and a half, maybe 2.7 miles an hour. That's pretty slow. Um, but once again, since you're on a trike, it's easy just to put your head straight ahead and just crank and just crank right up any hill that there is. The Villager does come with a 30 speed um, transmission if you want to say gearing. It's got a three, uh, three rings up front and ten in the back. So it's able, it's got a pretty wide range. I wish it was a little higher at this point. Um, most of the time I leave it in the top front gear. I may end up, I think it's got a 52 ring on front right now, I may end up going with uh, something a little bit higher from a street bike or a racing bike to increase that maybe into the 60 to 62 range, I think maybe the largest ring that they make, but uh, at this point I've got about 250 miles on it after three weeks and the, the, the gearing works okay, like I said it's not a speed dimming but I may be able to increase that just a little bit. One of the things I really liked about the Cat Trike was the extras that it came with standard. The rear fender, the mirror, and the flag were all standard. Um, Sunshine Bike Shop threw in the uh, water bottle holder and the uh, computer for me, which was really nice. The Villager also has these really nice wrist rests. It's an extremely comfortable ride. The first time I was on it, I did over 20 miles, and it was nice not to have any discomfort in my lower back, the neck. You end up with a super nice upright riding position, which while being on the trail, you really notice the wildlife, the deer, the turkey, I saw a woodchuck the other day, the rabbits of course. Um, 
it really puts your uh, viewpoint, your point of view up from what it would be on a normal bike and you're really able to enjoy being out in nature much, 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 much nicer than a, a normal bicycle. Um, and I did have quite a bit of riding experience on a normal bike, but I really enjoyed the trike. I can't see ever going back. When it comes to disadvantages, aside from the disadvantage of speed, you are going just slightly slower, at least with this particular model. Once again, I think if you had a road version, it wouldn't be an issue, but this is kind of a comfort bike, not really designed for racing. And I do move a little bit slower, but on the trail, unpaved trail specifically, as you can see here, you can't really single track it. If I was on a normal bike, I'd be able to write down, right one of these, run right down one of these tire lines. But with the trike, and I've got three wheels going, the only way I can really ride down is with two wheels in the grass. You can see it's actually very rough. Uh, I wouldn't recommend riding a trike up to this, uh, the Walnut Grove Trailhead from Springfield, which is what I did here. Uh, I got vibrated pretty good. This thing in general, because of the, the single track issue, um, is not always as smooth as what a normal bike would be because you can choose your path you can always avoid the obstacle you can avoid the rocks and the trees and the potholes because you're single tracking with the three wheels three wide across you always end up hitting something and you do tend to get jostled and jiggled around a little bit it's just one of the trade-offs you've got to have you're you're a lot more comfortable in your seating position it's a lot more enjoyable ride but uh, you know under rough pavement and the trike in general does not do well in in rough environments you just kind of get jostled and vibrated all over the place uh, this was a pretty rough ride i was uh, i wouldn't say i was sore when i got home but i, I definitely got uh, jiggled around quite a bit I did want to talk to you talk about was the stability as you can uh, see here it's nice to be able to slow down and cross the road even come to a complete stop at a uh, stoplight and not have to put your feet down you're always in a very comfortable seated position you can come to a complete stop and you're just sitting there I would say below 20 miles an hour stability is absolutely superb it's mind-blowing um, that being said, above 20 miles an hour, uh, stability can be a little twitchy. And I, some people have talked about it. Some people, I think, just don't mention it. You know, I don't know that this bike was really intended for speed, like I said, but because it's set so high, and the Villager is one of the highest setting trikes out there um, as far as the seat. The, the bottom of the seat is higher than almost any other trike on the market. Um, they did improve the, the spacing on the wheels. They moved them apart to increase the stability. Um, it can still be a little twitchy, especially when you're hauling. I, I dumped it the first time uh, going over 30 miles per hour uh, down a steep incline on uneven road with debris on the road. Uh, I went to make a slight turn with the steering and there was a bump in the road and the next thing you know I was airborne. Um, I took my mountain bike out again after I had taken this, like I said, for it's almost 250 miles I've got it on now got on it now and just compared in the mountain bike my two-wheel bike is rock solid stable all the way up to 40 miles per hour um, again it's the advantage of two wheels and the, the gyro effect of the two wheels with this and the, the way the steering and the brakes are on the front if you apply one brake more than the other at extremely high speeds it, it, it tends to, to jerk the track around on you which you don't want at all going high speeds I have uh, my rule of thumb on so far on the trike is I don't need to be going more than 25 miles per hour um, no matter how steep the downhill is. Like I said, on a, on a two-wheel bike, I think you can just kind of let go of the brakes and on smooth pavement, just let it go. But um, I try to keep uh, try to keep the speed down just because the steering on this particular model, again, with the seat being so high, does get a little twitchy at high speeds. The other time I did take a spill on it was at low speeds. Um, as you can see here, we had a lot of rain and uh, both sides of the trail are flooded. 
Uh, one of the paved trails here in Springfield with all the rain we had last night was flooded this morning so I had to go around uh, across grass basically and there was a grass embankment that was pretty steep and I tried a quick uh, pedal up the uh, side of the, uh, the steep embankment uh, and I took it at an angle kind of sideways and yeah I flipped right over because unlike a normal bicycle uh, where you're always upright, um, despite the terrain being uneven on this, it's just like a zero turn mower and people do dump those as well. Um, you get the thing at a, at a decent angle and your weight is, uh, your center of gravity is fairly high and you can flip it on over. It was no big deal. I just picked it, you know, got up and flipped it right back up and, and then I just pushed it up and over the hill. But uh, yeah, it's definitely over steep um, hills, steep inclines, uneven pavement, uh, yeah, although it's rock solid stable 98% of the time, that 2% of the time comes out on those steep hills and, and at high speeds and you just got to use a little bit more caution. The riding I do is probably 75% of trails here around town and the other 25% is road. That being said, the trails I normally are on are paved and uh, the Frisco Trail, I think the pavement, uh, it gets on the pavement right here. Um, on pavement on these little trails, it is narrow enough to get through any of the gates or the turnstiles or any of those type things that, that it has. See this little turtle here on the, on the trail. Um, it, it was not an issue. I thought, oh, well, the trike's going to be so wide, I'm not even going to be able to fit on the trail. It, it's just barely wider than the handlebars on a normal bike. It'll fit about anywhere uh, than a normal bike will. But it, the, the villager model, and I would say trikes in general, I think, really do much better on the pavement. I, I can't imagine using one off-road. It's just too difficult having those rear wheels. Those, you got three wheels that has to line up all the time and in order to pick your route it's just a lot harder than being on a two-wheel bike but on pavement for comfort just hard to beat. Um, I've really really enjoyed riding it and can't imagine uh, make, can't imagine being any, on any 